Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today it's my pleasure to tell you all about the 2017 Sport Trek 336 VRK. This is a beautiful rear kitchen travel trailer. It has a lot of amenities you see in a fifth wheel. So let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around and then we'll head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice, this guy right here, it's your power tongue jack. This makes it really easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Just push a button, that will raise and lower the tongue. Also there is a light on here, so if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, go ahead and pop that on for a little extra visibility. Behind that is your propane tank cover, very easy to access the tanks, just undo these thumb screws right here, then you can lift up the door and that will give you access to your two 20 pound tanks. Behind the propane tank cover you can see there are the rails for your battery box. And then coming up all the way up the front is a beautiful fiberglass front cap. Uh, I really love a front cap on a travel trailer, it gives it a very complete look. Also it adds extra insulation and helps prevent any kind of water intrusion because the cap folds over the side. If you take a look at the front, it may not pick up very well on video quality, but from here all the way down is a rock guard. That way any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle, uh, the front cap will be safe. This rock guard will help protect it so you don't get a bunch of scratches and dings. Also right underneath the front here you can see you have a big LED light strip that really helps it stand out at night, gives that extra uh, pop and flare. So you come around to the side, a couple cool things. One is this guy right here. That is solar prep. So this unit is all prepped for solar. All you have to do is buy the Furion panels, go ahead and plug it right in and that will trickle charge the battery. Pass through storage, couple things of note. You can see here it has a covered hinge. Uh, they put silicone up here too. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. Just helps again any kind of prevent any water from getting in there. But the covered hinge helps from rust coming down the door. Slam latch baggage door as well, makes it very easy to use. And magnetic latches make it very easy to hold up. If you take a look right in there, Nice pass through storage size, you have a light in there as well, uh, right over to the side and you can see a couple switches. Those switches actually light up underneath, uh, it will light up the uh, each corner, there's a light underneath the jacks and a light underneath the steps so you can go ahead and see at night. Speaking of the jacks though, take a look at this right here. This is really cool. Uh, to my knowledge, one of the only manufacturers that are doing this, they have individual power jacks. So that way you can individually control each one. So if you're not on a perfectly level surface, uh, you can go ahead and make sure that the coach is stable. So that's really cool. Also underneath, if you take a look at the frame, this is a BAL huck bolt frame. So it's an upgraded frame on there. Uh, it's a lot more structurally, or it has a lot more structure integrity and if you ever if it ever does get damaged it's a lot easier to repair um, you know most most of the time when they're welded and it gets in any kind of accident it's not like an automobile when you have a bent frame and there's just not a whole lot they can do to fix it with the huck bolt they can actually take a piece out put a whole new piece in so it is a lot easier on repairs also render there you can see a spare tire hopefully you never have to use it but in the event that you do you know that it's riding right underneath the coach with you Frameless windows on here too. Uh, I love frameless windows. One, they just look a heck of a lot better. Two, you can keep these open while it's raining. Because the way they open, they tilt open like this, you can get a nice breeze coming in without having the rain come in. And lastly, the seal is tucked behind the glass here itself. So that way it's protected from the elements, which means you will get more longevity and life out of your windows. Getting into the 336 is very easy. You can see you have three steps right here, as well as the easy, gra or the easy grab handle. So from the very first step all the way on in, it is not a problem. Make sure you won't slip and fall. Right above the door are two outside speakers. Now those are connected to your multimedia center inside. However, that multimedia center is Bluetooth capable. So what that means is when you're sitting underneath this huge power awning, you can go ahead and set your chairs up. Uh, you can control the music via Bluetooth on your smartphone or tablet. And so whether you're doing streaming or music on the device itself, again, you can still be out here and be able to control it. Very cool. So we come around right over here. This is the outside kitchen. Let me open this up for you. 
take a look at that. So beautiful outside kitchen here. You have a very large refrigerator. This is really cool. Uh, you can see there plenty of space. So you have all the room for your condiments, beverages, whatever you want. So I like having the larger refrigerator. Right here is your sink. Great countertop space on here as well. So you have good prep space, light here. If you want a TV hooked up, you do have the TV hookups there. You can see extra storage up above. This is great storage, folks. So, you know, you have plenty of room up here for all of your uh, cups, you know, your plates. If you want to stock a bar out here, you can do that too, whatever you want. This drops down, you have a nice little sponge tray there. Drawer right over here. And because this is an outside kitchen, of course you have a cooktop. This lifts up right there and that is your two burner. So, you know, it's cool to have an outside kitchen on a rear kitchen floor plan. You don't see that very often. Generally, your outside kitchens will be on your bunkhouse models, once in a while on a rear bath model, but very rare on a rear kitchen floor plan. So I love they were able to incorporate this into this uh, particular floor plan. Come around to the back here. Again, you'll see the individual power jacks, just like the front. Electrical outlet here, so if you do want to plug anything else in, you can. I think this is pretty cool too, because it is fairly close to your uh, outside kitchen. So if you know you need to walk over here to use an electric griddle or something like that, you can. Or you have this right here too. Um, so come on back, I'll show you what this is. This is your uh, storage rack system. So you can undo these pins. This just drops right down. Uh, and this is multi-use. You can use it while you're towing. You can put bikes on there. You can put totes on there. Uh, you know, it has a, a bar that goes right in here for when it's down for your bikes. Um, but you know, when you get to the campsite, it has uses too. You can use this as like another table. So if you wanna set up like a crock pot or something out here, you can do that. And then again, that plug-in's right around the corner. So you can just go ahead and plug it in. That's really neat. Uh, underneath, one of the things you don't see, we did talk about the frame, but we didn't talk about the underbelly. Uh, this one does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way, if you are camping into the colder seasons, it won't be an issue. You don't have to worry about things freezing up on you. Right here is your rear attached ladder. Uh, this just kind of comes up and drops down. This has to, does have to be down for the ladder to come down, but it is a fully walkable roof. So if you have to get up there and do any kind of maintenance, you can certainly do that. Also front and center, right above where it says Sport Trek, if you see that little housing, that means that this unit is pre-wired for a backup camera. So if you do want to have one, it's a lot easier to have that installed. So on the off door side, a couple quick things. One, take a look right down here. You can uh, see the rims, they're gorgeous aluminum rims on there. So not only they look great, but they'll last longer too. Less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion on there. And you have nitrogen filled tires, so you get a little bit better fuel economy and more even tire wear. Then right here, this is a 50 amp detachable power cord. The, the reason this unit has 50 amp, this unit actually has two fireplaces, which we'll see when we go inside, and it has a second AC prep. So in order to have all that, you do need the extra power, uh, but I love the fact that it is detachable. Right up here, this is your outside shower, both hot and cold shower access there. I like this location too, because as you'll see, it is right above your terminations. Uh, so that way, when you're done handling the dirty stuff, you can go ahead and take this and wash your hands off. Also right underneath is the black tank flush. Uh, if you're not familiar with the black tank flush, what that does for you, is instead of having to take a hose and dragging it through the entire travel trailer and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, with this, all I have to do is take that same hose, you can just screw it right in here, and then the black tank has uh, sprayers built in, it will go ahead and wash it out for you. So it just makes uh, breaking down camp a heck of a lot easier. The last thing I wanna show you before we go in is this right here. So if you take a look, again, this is slam latch baggage door, same thing, magnetic, so it sticks up real easy. And take a look at that storage, that's huge storage. So you have the big pass through and the storage right here. This is actually storage underneath the bed. Uh, so you have two access points, one from out here, the other from underneath the bed. But that's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sport Trek 336 VRK. This particular model is in the brownstone interior. As you'll notice, it's very wide open in here. You have dual opposing slides in your main living area. But let's start right over here on the entertainment center. Front and center is your 39 inch uh, TV, multimedia center right over here to the side, and the fireplace down below. Uh, this multimedia center does run the speakers both inside and outside. It's also a radio and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can just go ahead and pop it right in and then it will play on the TV. 
The uh, fireplace is great. Not only does it look really nice, but it also uh, runs off electric. So if you don't want to use propane, you can just kick that guy on. Does a good job of taking the chill off in this main living area. Storage here on both sides. You can see that. Some cubby holes there as well. Uh, there is an auxiliary light behind the TV, which is kind of cool. The switch is actually right over here. You can turn that on and off, but I do like the auxiliary light thing. It kind of gives it a nice look. Then up top here, take a look at this. You have huge storage, which is great. And this is the space above the outside kitchen. So I love, again, they were able to utilize this. The setup in this floor plan is phenomenal. Let's make our way right back here. This of course is our dining area. Uh, four chairs here, so plenty of room for everyone to sit around and have a meal. And if you do need to do any kind of work here, whether you have a, a laptop or tablet, there is an electrical outlet there so you can go ahead and plug that in. As we move into the kitchen, you can take a look right back here. You'll see you have adjustable shelving in your pantry, but nice pantry space right there. Very large refrigerator freezer combo. Running, uh, this is a Norcold brand, so I personally like Norcold. It's made right here in the US. But you can see you have plenty of room, a cutout there as well for some taller items. Right up here is the microwave, fully functional hood with a light and a fan below. And then again, good storage all along the top. You can see right there, this does go back, has a shelf built in as well. And then great storage all the way across. Take a look at that. So plenty of room for all of your dishes. Now the main reason we love rear kitchen floor plans is this right here. Huge countertop and prep space. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is solid surface. You know, I mean, you can feel it. It's uh, just, I think they did a great job on the selection of their countertops. Sink top cover here. You can see because you have solid surface countertop, that allows for a undermount sink. So they undermounted a double stainless steel bowl. As I mentioned, the sink top cover here, you can flip this over, use this as a large cutting board if you so desire. Also, high rise pull out faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. If you take a look, uh, this is your cooktop. You do also have the cover on here, so this folds back just like so. Makes it nice and easy there. Um, the other cool thing about that, one, it gives you prep space when it's down, two, it acts as a backsplash when it's up, because the glass is nice and easy to clean. But it, as I mentioned, is a three burner cooktop, and you have an oven right here down below if you want to do some baking. Underneath the sink, you have great storage, plenty of room for all of your cleaning supplies there. And then you have a very nice bank of four large drawers here. So as you can tell, plenty of room for silverware and all of your serving utensils like spoons, spatulas, things like that. Then right over on the other side of the countertop here, we can open this guy up. As you can see, again, huge space there. Personally, that's where I'd put my trash can, but you can put whatever you desire. Now in this slide is dual theater seating. Again, this is extremely comfortable. Um, you know, I definitely recommend you come and sit in it. You just sink right in. Probably one of the most comfortable theater seats I've sat in in a travel trailer for sure. Uh, right here are two cup holders, so that way you can sit here and have a beverage. Of course, these both do kick up and recline. There's a little handle right here, makes it nice and easy. This is definitely the best seat in the house. You have a straight shot right across the 39 inch TV there and excellent for for any kind of entertainment because any other guests, they have a seat right here on the couch and it uh, provides good conversation. Now this sofa, again, not only is this very comfortable, this is also a tri-fold sofa, so this makes it into a very comfortable bed. If you're not familiar with the tri-fold sofa, it is the preferable type of uh, sleeper sofa in an RV because it doesn't have the bar like your old standard pullouts do where you have the bar in the middle of your back and your mattress is that thin, and it's not a, a blow-up mattress, so it's not gonna deflate on you in the middle of the night. So definitely uh, the type of mattress you want in your RV. Then right up top here, Great storage there as well. Underneath, this is kind of neat too. Uh, you know, they put a little artwork there. There's a cutout here, so that way, you know, you can make your own memories. When you go out, maybe your first camping trip or whatever you want, go ahead and put a picture of you and the family right there. Okay, that'll wrap it up for the kitchen area and living area. So let's head on back. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom of the 336, we do have two entrances and exits, one into the main living area, the other one right here into the bedroom. 
But let's take a look over in this side. You'll see right here, very large linen closet, plenty of room there for everything you need, all of your towels and all, uh, all the rest of your bathroom goodies. Then Neo Angle shower here in the corner. Plenty of room here too. I love the doors on there. Because they're in roller tracks, all the water will actually stay in the shower pan, not get all over the floor. Magnetic latch there as well makes it very easy. Uh, I have a hand wand and shelving in here. Plenty of head height. As you can see, I'm about six foot. I have plenty of room here. And if you are a taller person, you can actually stand right here because you have the skylight, which goes even higher. That also, of course, lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Then as we come out of the shower, right over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see you have storage right there behind that. Sink top and vanity and additional storage underneath. Over in this corner is your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see this is a porcelain toilet. Uh, that's hugely beneficial as well because it's a lot easier to clean. And then right up top here, you have some additional storage. Uh, you know, whatever you need to put up there. Personally, I'd probably put extra toilet paper, but whatever you want, you definitely have some extra storage there in the corner. All right, that'll finish it up for the bathroom. Let's go take a look at the bedroom. The bedroom of the 336 is great. How often do you see a king size slide out bed in a travel trailer? Almost never, right? Well, this floor plan has gone ahead and done it. So you have plenty of space here because you have the slide out. Nice large king bed. You can see the leather headboard. Uh, that way, you know, not only does it have a good look, but it's very functional. If you want to sit up and read a book, you can certainly go ahead and do that. Shelves are nice and high as well, so you don't have to worry about hitting your head on them when you sit up. And they still have a place where you can put a glass of water or or if you need to charge a cellular device, both sides have an electrical outlet. One side actually has two USB ports as well. Then along the very top there, you can see some additional storage, a reading light, and you have an auxiliary light. So if you want some uh, secondary lighting, you can go ahead and turn that on. Then in the nose of the uh, travel trailer here, both sides actually have hanging wardrobe space. You can see that right there. So kind of like a his and hers wardrobe, which is really cool. And again, you have the same thing as I mentioned right here. And then up top, you can see you have the glass here, the auxiliary lighting again coming through, extra storage right up top there. This is probably one of my favorite parts, a fireplace in the bedroom. Again, not only does this look great, but this is super functional. If you are camping somewhere and you don't have to pay for electric, this is free heat, and this will do a great job of keeping it nice and toasty in the, here in the bedroom. Then underneath the fireplace, you have two additional drawers, uh, of course, for uh, any clothes that you wanna have folded, as well as additional storage right here at the foot of the bed. You can see you have two drawers there, and then underneath a uh, couple shelves there so some extra storage window here at the foot of the bed too lets in some natural light and up top right above that you have your TV connection so if you do want TV it shows you where to go ahead and mount that and then your connections are there lastly as I mentioned earlier this one does have second AC prep so if you do want a second AC it is good to go but all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sport Trek 336 VRK. This is one of my personal favorite travel trailers here at American. I think it's a great layout. It's a beautiful couples coach. You have the king bed, you have two fireplaces that are very functional, a gorgeous, spacious, and very workable kitchen, large refrigerator, outside kitchen, big awning. You have plenty of space in the living area with the dual opposing slides and the theater seating. This is just a winner through and through. Uh, if you have any questions on this unit, or if you're looking for price and availability, you can go ahead and give myself, Ian Baker, a call, or check out our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.